Hi everyone. Today I want to show you a really simple thing that uh, I'm surprised more people don't do. And when people do it, they tend to not do a good job. And the reason they don't do a good job, when they need this, they're doing something else that's more important. So they usually just do as quick a job as they can. But I, I really think it's definitely worth it to spend a little time to build this simple project. And all it is, is just a table. For your jack. So the most obvious use for this is, is to safely handle a, a transmission. You know, you just set that on the transmission pan and, and uh, it gives you really good control. Um, it swivels, you know, so once you get it in the air, you can make some fine adjustments to it. Um, the reason we made the top of this out of the wood is so if you're lifting something that's a little more awkward, a transfer case, a differential, you can bolt pieces of scrap wood down to this and make any shape you want to, to comfortably lift anything you want. So it's simple enough. We took a video of, uh, of us building this. The problem is, is we were really new to videotaping our projects. So we kind of lost a bit of it. So we can show you a little bit of, of how we did it and I'll just have to explain the rest. But what happened here was the reason this is double layer is because we built this square piece with the tube. Uh, but what happened is when we put the screws in here, um, it rubbed on this flat part so it wouldn't spin smoothly. And it also, when you jack set the jack right down, it hit this part of the jack. So, you know, that puts a stress on it you don't want. So we ended up uh, just unscrewing this piece from the wood, cutting a new piece of steel, welding the this square one to that one, which gave us a little more lift, got our screws high enough that uh, they don't rub anymore. Um, and that tended, that seemed to work out really well. In fact, now that, uh, now that it's all said and finished, if I was going to do this again, I would do it with the two plates, just like I did it here. Um, we've used this thing several times and, and it's actually really surprising how many times this thing has come in really handy. So, I strongly recommend that, uh, you know, you take half a day and do a nice job. Get yourself a piece of three quarter inch plywood, a little bit of scrap steel and, and put it together. The first thing we're going to need is a piece of pipe that fits in that hole. And the problem is, is that is a really oddball size hole. And what I mean by oddball is a size that I don't have. So, what we're going to do is we're going to cut this pipe and we're going to narrow it. One thing I'd really like to get for this shop is a bigger vise. A little more. One more. Oof. Okay, let's see how round we are and how close we are. Not even close. We're going to have to take another cut out of there. So close. In fact, it's so close. Let's put a zip disc in, okay? So these discs are beveled. So they need this beveled flat piece. These discs are flat, so they just get this little flat thing. Probably the most dangerous thing you could do is run a flat disc with the beveled piece because what it does is it'll bend it down in the center so now you got the whole thing is flexed and stressed. That could explode on you quite quickly. Okay, 
We have made a circle. Flat spots, we're already there. So, uh, and you know, this, this one never had to win any beauty pageants, so um, I'm happy with that the way it is. Our circle-ish piece. Okay, so. If you haven't made yourself one of these, make yourself one of these. It's just a washer onto a 5 8 inch pipe. This is a piece of spring steel. I find it holds up pretty good. You gotta sharpen it once in a while. But for spatter and slag, especially if you got a piece that's hard or heavy and you can get both hands, you can really, you can really go to town. And it's, it's pretty tough. So yeah, this is actually a chunk of an old leaf spring. Notice the clouds didn't come until after we moved our workstation. Yep. Can you go make those four cuts with the angle grinder, Joe? I could. Before you start drilling, you want to make sure that it's lined up and that the bit goes right into where you center punched it. And voila. This one? Yeah. Wait. Little tip. Just drill a little hole in the corner there. Make sure it doesn't can't interfere with the pulleys in there and you got a good place for your chuck. Never comes out. It's easy to get in and out. Make sure that's pointing there, please, Joe. Okay, so. What do you think? Is it wobbling, Joe? I think so. It's off center. Yeah, that will never work. That would make one ragged hole. So a problem we're going to have here, Joe. See how close the plate is to the holes? Yeah. So if we just go weld along here, our weld is going to interfere with these holes. Yes. So what we're going to do is we're going to weld the corners. Yeah. And I'm going to drill holes here and we'll make a, I don't know what you call it, but we'll fill in the hole with weld. Do you know what I mean? Okay. And that way we won't have the heads of the screws fighting with the edge of a weld over on these things. Okay, so what we've done here, uh, we drilled four holes here, we made some plug welds, and we welded on the corner. So, we'll get that cleaned up and move on to the next step. Ah, I right, Dad, I think that's good. Okay, oh. so, when Joe gets into trouble, I jack him up like this, I leave the handle in the down position, and he can't get down without me. So, another handy use for the floor jack table. That's everything you need to know about our floor jack table. Dad won't let me down until you subscribe. So, hit that button.